So I'm here to present a real life study comparing the two immune checkpoint inhibitor atlizumab and pembrolizumab in advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma. We know for certain time that the immunotherapy is quite effective in treating you know, the patients who is not eligible for platinum-based chemotherapy in the first-line setting. And both immunotherapy agent, atlizumab and pembrolizumab, they have shown good benefit and improve outcome along as the good quality of life. So, but it is always difficult to do a cross-trial comparison. So we thought, and we are allowed to use both drugs same time. So we thought we'll do a multi-center study to see how the clinician prefer one over others and whether there is any difference of the outcome. So we collaborate in the, among the few centers and we have a cohort of 112 patients who has been uh, treated with uh, either of those agents in the first line in a chemo knife setting who is not eligible to have uh, platinum-based chemotherapy for various reasons or who has progressed on platinum-based chemotherapy subsequently. And we have seen that the one drug, pembrolizumab, showed a better response than atezo in both settings. Though numerically it's showing good outcome, a good difference, but we failed to prove it statistically. But the uh, the signal is clear. The Prembro actually perform group perform better than the atezo group, and we have also found that both drugs are quite well tolerated. And, and I, we think that this is an important study. Uh, because uh, bladder cancer landscape has changed recently because one immunotherapy agent has lost his licensing indication in the UK uh, for whatever the reason. So we thought this study probably will allow us to get a wider population to be involved in that similar project and so that we can find out uh, that actually whether it's the right decision to rely on one drug or should we continue to use the both drugs.